What if Mars and Mercury collided? So here are the two small rocky planets. I expect Mercury to move pretty fast. On collision, they almost destroy each other, but their cores survive though. The cores would start reaccumulating material, and soon it would merge into one big planet. So let's speed up the sim. Mercury would come in at an angle, causing a new planet to spin super fast. It would also send material into orbit, potentially creating small moons. Let's check the aftermath. The new planet would be a rusty red mixed with a gray gravel from the rocks of Mercury's surface. It would also have rivers of lava as geological activity restarts on the planet. Its little moon would mostly be Mercury's material by composition, but it would also be mixed with some rusty Mars mantle. The new moon's mass would be 2.6% of our moon's mass, and it would be 1,000 kilometers in diameter, which is smaller than Pluto. Its gravity would be 5.4% of the gravity we feel on Earth. This is pretty rare for my channel, but keep watching because I made two aftermaths actually. But before that, I forgot to mention the planet's stats for the geeks in the audience. So this planet has 57% of the Earth's diameter, has 7,400 kilometers, and it has 15% of the Earth's mass. Its day is actually three and a half hours long. Its gravity is 46% of that of Earth's, and its density is around 80% of Earth's density. Uh, and 8.4% of the total mass was lost during the collision. So let's get on to aftermath 2. So let's see how Mars' orbit changes. For this scenario, Mars will be perfectly on its perihelion. Here is Mercury and Mars. Boom. So Mars' orbit has now been changed. It actually goes pretty close to the sun. The dust will form a ring around the sun too. Oh, and it seems like Mars has gained like a thicker atmosphere too. Let's see how much it is. Seems like Mars' atmosphere would have around the same mass as the Earth, 14% more surface pressure, and about the same density. Mars would temporarily be 139 degrees Celsius, so let's speed it up. Mars would lose its atmosphere pretty quickly, actually, as it plunges down into negative 20 degrees. Since its orbit is very elliptical, it will have crazy seasons, but it might potentially be more habitable for life. Who knows? Like and comment what you want to see next and subscribe for more educational space videos. Uh oh. Oh.